The Nymph from Poems by Nora May French, read for LibriVox.org by Christine G. From the forest path we turned us, nymphs new made, and lifting eyes abashed with great desire, before high Jove the gift of souls we prayed. Whereat he sat, O oh, perfect as new leaves, new glossed and veined with blood of perfect days, and stirred to murmured speech in fragrant heaves. Still ask ye souls? Behold, I give instead, into each breast a bird with feathered wings, a bird fast holden with a silken thread, to fall from trial of flight with strength swift spent, to sing of mating and the brooding grass, to turn thy being earthward to content. Within me sudden wrath and terror strove, and, casting forth his gift, I cried aloud, I pray thee for a soul in truth, great Jove! Then smiled he slowly, lifting to my look, a fabric where the rippled lustre played, and shifted like the humour of a brook. All prism-hued, as upward eyes may see, the sun through dazzled lashes straight I cried, I know not this, thy soul, he answered me. But when my joy had ceased it, nay, he said, and cast it gleaming to the scattering wind, hues green and golden, blue and fervent red, within his hand the brightest shred of all, the very heart and secret of the web, that held thee fast and loosened he not at all. But to me he said, O thou who scorned the dole, that gave thee peace of days and long content, do now my will go forth and find thy soul. To earth we went, nor knew I from that hour, my sister's joy or pain, but on great morns, when low light slept above a world in flower, through drowsing noons where heat and colour lies, in every wavering tides of airy seas, winged by the darting ships of dragonflies. Through these and twilight peace I went, and rid, my steps of comrades, lonely must I find, the silent places where my soul was hid. In sheltered ways, with summer showers sweet, I wandered on a day, and singing found, The very green I sought beneath my feet. In leafing forest when the year was new, And heaven ribboned in the crossing boughs, I gathered marvellous strip on strip of blue. When on a lonely stream the moon was bright, A naiad from her treasure plucked me forth, Such gold has bound my web with threads of light. And red, ah, love, thou knowest how I came, Unto thy fluting in the breathless eve, And burn my heart's pale flower to scarlet flame. One morn I found within a drop of dew, My very soul, a crystal world it was, Wherein the varied earth and heavens blew. And myself gazing glass in perfect sphere, But long above it was my wonder bent, And lo, it dried more swiftly than a tear. Now is the truth, O Jove, that I have won, And woven all the shreds thou gavest the wind, But how, I pray thee, can my task be done? Unless I ope thine hand, unless I lose The very heart and secret of the web, Where every thread may end and know its use. Joy hast thou not with health, nor love denied, Nor any beauty dimmed on earth or sky, Yet by thy will I roam unsatisfied. But couldst thou hear again the earliest plea, Again my choice would flout the lesser gift, And willing take this task thou grantest me, To search the heart and secret of the whole, To twine the eager hues of a varied days, And to its bright perfection weave a soul. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.